afternoon. I want to check in with Pamela Gardner. She's been live in Plymouth uh, for a few hours right now. And uh, Pamela, what are you seeing there right now? Still really windy, but the uh, coastal flood concern is kind of dissipated, right? Yeah, exactly. Actually, earlier we had that biggest high tide time, and um, we did have some flooding issues across Plymouth. Right now, what we're dealing with as we go to low tide, the winds are whipping, the water height is starting to go down, but still wave heights offshore 20 up to 30 feet, and the wind just relentless. Our weather watcher, Denise from Plymouth, texted me. She's without power from time to time, as half the town is here in Plymouth. She says, 55 mile per hour gusts and sustained wind of 36 miles an hour. So that has verified a blizzard here, and we expect about 18 to 24 inches of snow. So far, we have about six inches, so a lot more to go. I want to show you some video from earlier because of that high tide. Right after 9:15 this morning, we had water come up across the road, and Route 3A was closed. So now that the water is starting to recede, it's probably going to stay closed. And we also have the issue of power lines and trees coming down too. But I want to show you um, what the fire chief here from Plymouth had to say about conditions across the town. Even though it was an astronomically low tide, uh, this high tide this morning at uh, 920 did flood Route 3A, Warren Avenue at Plymouth Beach. And that's getting to be typical now. Uh, that's, that's probably something the state is going to have. That's a state road. The state will have to deal with uh, for the long-term basis. But uh, it's closed down now, and uh, Mass DOT is handling that. But um, with the wires down, the heavy snow, some road flooding, we've got some blocked roads because of trees down. Um, and now with the amount of people without power, some people that are oxygen dependent or have medical problems, we've been uh, transporting them to facilities to take care of them until the power can get back on. It's so dangerous out here for crews to try and get the power to get back on. It's going to be a while, so this is a long duration power outage probably across the South Shore. And it is a weather emergency, so stay at home, stay off the roads, and stay safe. Back to you in the studio.